Hi Cancer, welcome to Angela333. Hope everybody's doing well. We're gonna do your messages from Spirit and the Angels. Please know that this reading can be about any area in your life. So just really listen to your thoughts, your feelings, your intuition. You'll know how the messages resonate with you. Also, I am giving away one free personal reading each month. If you'd like to enter the giveaway, uh, you just need to be a subscriber, like the video, and leave a comment. I will announce the winner the first week of every month. So with that cancer, let's get started here. I'm going to pull a couple cards here from the animal oracle. Uh, the, uh, I'm sorry, the spirit animal oracle deck. Let's see what we have here. Okay, we have the badger spirit. This is number four, which is be fearless and bold okay so i feel like this is kind of that stand your ground energy okay so there may be a situation that you're pretty clear on right and i feel like this is a situation where you may need to stand your ground with somebody here okay but also can be a, a conservative energy right um you know kind of uh holding back could be holding on to something too but i feel like i'm really picking up kind of a stand your ground energy right right but in a nice way right we got those pretty uh daisies there around this badger okay i, I you know there was a saying with the badger uh years ago like the badger doesn't care <laughs> right uh something like that so i feel like with that badger spirit it's like an energy like right now maybe you're feeling like you don't care what people think right you're standing your ground you're standing up for yourself is the type of energy that i get there okay you also have your number 36 which is nine the koi fish spirit there is always enough all right beautiful energy okay so the koi fish it can be a very lucky energy also can be an energy here right you manifesting abundance in your life but i feel here too right it's almost that energy um you know i'm gonna say with the two of those together surrendering right not caring what people think right doing what's best for you i feel here too and because you're manifesting more than enough abundance in your life okay that's telling you there's always enough right so i feel like those are really nice messages here okay so let's see what your tarot has to say all right actually we're pulling um actually we want to pull the archangel power tarot deck and i think i got it upside down Somehow lately, my cards have been coming up reversed, <laughs> um, and I don't usually have that happen. So if it happens, just know that I don't read reversals, okay? So let's see what other messages we have here for Cancer. So yeah, see, here we go. We have the Strength card, which is number 11, nice energy. So if you're seeing 11, 11, that could be a sign for you, or repeating fours, we also have 36, which is nine. And actually with that nine there, I'm going to tell you, um, you may be coming into a completion of a cycle here as well, okay? Um, you have uh, Archangel Ariel, the strength card, strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, and forgiveness. What's interesting that you have this card with the badger, badger spirit, so the badger spirit here, right, I'm picking up that energy, right, kind of you standing your ground. You're not really taking any action. It's almost like you're a surrendering energy, like I feel uh, with this koi fish spirit, right, uh, the, the uh, least path of resistance here. And with the strength card, what I'm also getting here too, which... You know, a lot of people don't realize this, but the strength card is also a, um, a feminine energy. And, and actually, in this deck, right, it's a feminine angel. We all have feminine and masculine energy. But with the strength card, we learn to be disciplined, right? And we don't always take action, right? Even if somebody's provoking us, right? That's the beauty of the strength card is that we can kind of be disciplined, right? You got the lion here, right? 
the strength card is also about taming the inner beast. So it's really a balanced energy and also having that self-discipline, okay? And so there may also be, right? There could be somebody here that you're needing to give forgiveness to. And you may be letting go of a situation, right? Something that, you know, maybe has bothered you for quite some time. And it can be around any area of your life, a friendship, a love situation, right? Can't even be forgiveness for yourself. And when we're in this energy, right? What I'm seeing here, right? With that koi fish spirit, that spirit telling you that maybe there was something here you thought was for you and it didn't work out, okay? Or the situation didn't work out. But they're saying there's always enough, right? You're always manifesting if you can let go, right? And forgive. That's part of the journey. Let's see what else we have here. Okay, so we have the page of Raphael. A new emotional situations, messages regarding relationships or social invitations, great intuitive insights. Oh, okay. So you may get a message, right, from a friend. This could be a love situation. It could be this person, maybe somebody you are trying to forgive here. All right. But this person here that's coming towards you, they're coming towards you in a loving way. Okay. A loving way. Um, I feel like this person um, is going to uh, open their heart to you as well. So you may be manifesting. I'm going to say some of you could be new love. Some of you could be a new friend, right? A kind giving friend. Um, it's going to be different for everybody. Okay. And some of you could be somebody here, right? That uh, maybe you've had to forgive. So let's see here uh, what your tarot cards have to say. Let's make sure I don't have the deck upside down. Okay, I don't. All right, what messages do we have here for Cancer? Messages for Cancer. All right, look at that. The Ace of Cups, Cancer. <laughs> I'm so excited for you, all right? Yeah, we have that self-discipline. We hold back, we let go, we surrender, right, to manifest. And look what happens here. The Ace of Cups, right? This is emotional fulfillment, peace, joy, happiness. It's also my wish and my yes card, okay? And uh, so I feel there's some, some sort of offer here. It could be with this message. It could be, right, a friendship that's about to bloom, a, a romance, a relationship, right a loving offer there so really nice energy it can just be about your you know your cup is is full and overflowing right with happiness peace and joy so really nice cancer okay so we have the seven of cups we got more cups energy a lot of cups energy here right uh definitely emotions right your energy as well cancer so we have the seven of cups here okay and with the seven of cups right there's more than one choice there's there's more than one option here okay so some of you are going to say this could also you know um because this page of raphael can be kind of that dreamy energy okay so this could be you kind of dreaming right maybe thinking about possibilities here options right what's going to work out well for you in the future what's going to bring you your peace your joy your happiness uh can also be an indication that there are going to be um you know multiple choices or options here in your situation okay and so this is about making healthy choices for you and that's why I think you have the, the boundary spirit. Spirit's trying to say there may be a situation that you need to hold your ground. You need to protect yourself, maybe. Maybe um, be guarded a little bit here, hold back, um, have that self discipline, okay? Whatever this is for you. So there may be something too that even emotionally, this could be something, right? At times, you may be feeling confused not sure what to do what choice to make okay and sometimes when we do nothing right as this badger spirit we hold back we do nothing 
that's when we really manifest things to happen, right? Sometimes you don't even have to do anything and it kind of just, you know, it plays out and it plays out right in a really good way here with that Ace of Cups. Let's see what else we have for Cancer. What else does Cancer need to know? Okay, look at that. The Queen of Wands. So shows me here, right? You're going to be feeling more confident. Maybe you already are more assertive, right? More passionate here. Uh, some of you, right? Could be just very focused on things that you love to do there with that Ace of Cups, right? Maybe there's you're looking at things in your life. What makes me happy? What brings me peace and joy and happiness, right? Filtering out the things, right? There's three cups here that have stars on them, right? And, you know, maybe it need, you need to think about and focus, right, just on the, the most three important things in your life and put that time and that energy into it, okay, as that Queen of Wands. So really nice energy there. Let's pull another card. Two, <laughs> two of swords. Okay. So holding back, kind of what I was talking about, holding back, maybe indecisive, right, around decisions, choices, right? What's really going to bring you the fulfillment, the peace, the joy, the happiness in your life? Could also be, you know, a message from this person, right? Whether you know this person or whether this is somebody new, right? Maybe not too sure, right, of this person's intentions. It's going to be different for everybody, okay? And you've got the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck here. So there's some sort of decision, I feel, um, some options that are going to come into play here and you're going to have to make a decision. Um, but I feel like cancer, part of it here is going to be about you really being, um, maybe holding back a bit, not rushing to take any action, you know, not, uh, forcing something to happen. I feel here, um, because I feel that you're manifesting some good things in your life. Okay, so you may be coming, there may be some, you know, decisions upcoming here you're going to have to make. And, you know, key here is you're going to have to really decide where you're going to put your time and energy, what you're going to put your hard work into. And so there may be a lot of things maybe on your mind, okay, Dis, you know, that turn into decisions that you have to make. And I feel like what they're saying here is that you don't have to make them right away, okay? Make sure you have the clarity before you make these decisions. So let's see what your Kipper cards have to say. Oh, look at that. Your first card is message. Yeah, double confirmation there. There's a message coming from someone, okay? And I feel like you may be questioning this a little bit. There's something around, uh, I feel like there could be some sort of emotional trigger from this person, right? Because you have the strength card there and it may be uh, that this could be somebody that hurt you, right? Or there's some sort of uh, forgiveness, but I really feel like they're telling you to be really disciplined, okay, with this person, like display self-control, okay? Oh, occupation. Some of you, this could be around your work, your career, it could be a co-worker, all right? I'm going to say some of you, this could be a new job offer. Uh, I'm going to say maybe you, you have other options, right? It's different for everybody. Oh, look at that. Yeah, expectation. Yeah. So cancer, that's part of, I feel, your reading here, right? There's an expectation before you make any decisions, right? You have to know what your expectations are. You have to know what your boundaries are, right? With that Badgett spirit, you're going to stand up for what you believe in. Now, I'm going to say, you know, you know, if it's a new job, right, and you're getting more than one offer or you feel that there are more offers coming in, maybe maybe there's a certain, you know, dollar amount, right, you're wanting to make. That could be an example of an expectation. It could be around a relationship or friendship, maybe somebody in the past who didn't treat you well. Okay, so there's an expectation going forward, but I feel here before you make any decisions. And look at that, bottom of the deck here, you have sudden wealth, okay? I feel like that's an indication, Cancer. It's number 11 here as well. 
Uh, I feel like it's an indication that you're manifesting beautiful things here in your life, okay, with that sudden wealth. It can even be, I'm going to say, maybe you get that job, right, that job, and because you have your expectations, you have your standards here, right, maybe you get that, that pay that you want. Some of you, it may be a promotion. Some of you, it may even be a bonus, okay? You also have your main female, um, number two here, okay, so there may be a female in your life um, that is related to this, okay, can also be love, she's holding a rose, but it can just be uh, the love of what you love to do, right? So, Cancer, I feel like you have a really nice reading. You're going to have upcoming opportunities, but I feel you're really being guided here to like Display self-control. Don't force something. Don't rush something, right? Get your clarity here before making a decision or taking any action. We're going to pull a final message here. Oh, look at that. Beautiful energy. You have uh, trust. I trust life and my strengths. Each moment guides me to the light. Everything on my path is placed there for my growth. Um, and, you know, this is yellow energy. This is the solar plexus chakra, okay? So this can be about, right, your free will and your choices, right? Trusting in yourself to make those decisions and those choices. It's also an energy here, too, in the solar plexus chakra. Sometimes we hold or we do hold our emotions there. Okay, we do hold our emotions in our solar plexus chakra. That's why there's a need here, right, to really have some discipline and some self-control. Okay, because sometimes those emotions can come out and, you know, we maybe we say the wrong things or do the wrong things. So Spirit's saying here to trust. I feel like uh, they're telling you here you're manifesting a lot of different things in your life here and you're going to have to make some decisions. Okay, so Cancer, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.